Howdy everyone, my name is Avram Plager and welcome back to my CAD design tutorials in Fusion 360. So today we're going to be going over a uh, fairly advanced uh, tool in Fusion 360, but one that you can easily learn. Um, and that's called surface texturing. Surface texturing does use um, pretty much a freeform method, um, but it does have a lot of standard ideologies behind it. So as you saw in my um, previous tutorial on threads and um, on threads and knurlings, uh, knurling is one of the surface texturing uh, formats. You also have different ways of doing that um, and different ways to even do knurling. So in today's tutorial, I'll go over uh, just a few variations of ways to do surface texturing. Um, if you haven't watched my video on lofts and sweeping, please go do so now in the info box, um, either at the beginning of the video or now, um, and that'll help you with one of the pieces that we're doing later in the tutorial. Uh, so to begin, we'll go over one of the knurling versions, uh, and to do that, we'll start with the cylinder. We'll go to our XZ plane, and we'll draw out a 30 millimeter cylinder. And then we'll extend this upward 50 millimeters. And we'll say new component. And we'll say okay. Now we'll take a uh, coil and we'll set it on this top face here. We'll go to the center and 30 millimeters on the edge. Now we need to make some immediate changes. The first one is that we need to set the section size to one millimeter and the revolutions to 0.5. Now what we need to do is we need to drag this down and drag it until it hits the bottom of that uh, edge and that'll be the um, that'll be the first knurling uh, vertice and the section that we are going to use is a square and we'll set the section position on center the operation to cut and don't change anything else. Now we'll say OK. And now we need to set a mirror. With the mirror, the object we want to do is this coil. And the mirror plane is uh, this X, this YZ plane here. And then we can say OK. When you're doing this, you either want the two um, the two crossings here to cross at uh, their center point or you want them to touch at either the top or the bottom tips. Now with that we'll create a circular pattern. The objects we want are our coil and the mirror of that coil and the axis is going to be the y-axis and now with that we'll set a quantity of 20. And now we can say, okay. Make sure that when you're doing this, you don't have any other um, complex applications open. Like make sure you don't have a YouTube video open when you don't have any video games running in the background um, because this type of operation is very strenuous on Fusion 360. Um, if you do have a powerful laptop, this may take much less time and it may even be instant. But if you're on like a Surface Pro 4 like I am, uh, it may take a little bit longer like you saw there. And as you can see, this is a very nice surface texture that we made. It's a bunch of little squares that cover that. Now what we'll do is we'll add some more um, texturing to another type of process. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to again create another cylinder. We're going to create this again on the XZ plane. And then we're going to create a cylinder a little bit farther out. Somewhere over here. And the diameter of the circle again is going to be 30 millimeters. And we'll say enter. Then we'll again drag this up 50 millimeters. And we'll set a new component. And we'll say OK. All right, so now what we want to do is uh, we want to create a sketch on the top of this face. So we'll click Create Sketch, and we'll go to this top face here. 
And now what we'll do is we'll create a um, an ellipse. We want the ellipse to be centered. And then we want this to extend uh, about 60 millimeters out. So we'll set that to 60. And then we want the uh, secondary radius to be 29. And then we'll press enter. And then we'll say finish sketch. Now what we want to do is we want to create a pipe along this. So we'll select our create tab and we'll select pipe. The path that we want is the circular path here. And you can see now it's going to pull up a, um, a cylinder there. Now what we want is a triangular section size. Uh, sorry, a, a triangular section. And we want the section size to be two millimeters. And then we'll say okay. Now what we'll do is we'll create a rectangular pattern again. And then we'll select the pipe that we made. And again, the direction that we want is the Y axis. So we'll select the Y axis there. And again, just like our first one, we want the quantity on the, uh, on the secondary axis to be one. And then we'll drag this one all the way to the bottom. to 50 and then we'll set this quantity to 15 or even 20 if we really want to we want to not change anything else and then we'll say okay now once that computes which again it may take a while uh, these surface patterns do tend to um, tax any computer because they're computing a lot of different edges and vertices uh, and there we go we have our sections created this is good if you want to create a uh, friction fit pillar or something of that sort that needs to stay in place uh, you can use this type of surface pattern uh, to create ribbing on just certain edges that you want um, you can see that ribbing is almost like an isosceles triangle, um, and it's fairly regular. And this creates a very nice pattern, uh, also good for helping you to hold on to certain objects. Um, and this was just two, two ways to do surface texturing. There's a lot of different ways to do it, and I would say almost infinite ways to make a surface texture. Um, so it's really up to you. But here's a good intro into how you would go about making surface textures. It really is a very creative process and it's not exactly limited like most of CAD design is. But I hope you all like this uh, video. Um, I have to say my viewership and all y'all's comments and likes on my videos has gone way up. Um, getting far more interaction with my audience than I ever could have hoped and it really does mean a lot to me. So. Uh, continue to like, comment, and watch my videos, um, and make sure you like and subscribe and share this channel with your family and friends.